If you're opening gifts like this, you're doing it wrong. And if you're finding yourself deleting postcards like this, you're also doing it wrong. This isn't my usual topic, but I see so many people wasting time opening gifts when there's a better way. In this video, I'll show you the optimal gift technique, which will save you up to 15 seconds per gift, allow you to open and send the usual limit of 20 gifts per day in just three minutes instead of up to eight, and allow you to never have to delete another postcard. Use the chapter markers to skip ahead if you just want the technique. Gifts are a valuable daily task in Pokemon Go, being a good source of both items, XP, and scatterbug encounters. They're a great way of getting Pokeballs, with each gift giving an average of 1.8 regular Pokeballs, 0.6 Great Balls, and 0.3 Ultra Balls, as of this 2021 investigation by the Salt Road. But even more importantly, gifts are a great source of XP. Interacting with another trainer on 90 different days yields a total of 163,000 XP from friendship bonuses, and gift exchanges are the most reliable way of consistently interacting on a daily basis. If you achieve best friends with gifts alone, this means that each gift exchange was worth 1,811 XP, which is quite a lot considering the relatively short time it takes to send and receive a gift. By pinning postcards from gifts, you earn a scatterbug encounter at least every 15 gifts from a particular region. This is the only way to obtain scatterbugs, so it's a good idea to pin the postcard from every gift you receive. But there's a problem with postcards. When you pin a postcard, it goes into your postcard book, and this book has limited capacity. Once it's full, it's a tedious process to select and delete postcards one by one. Let's talk about postcards first. It turns out that if you immediately unpin a postcard from a gift after pinning it, then you will still be credited towards a scatterbug, but will never need to delete the postcard from your postcard book. With that out of the way, let's look at the complete gift technique, going from least to most optimized technique. When you open a gift, you first have to tap this pin to pin its postcard to make progress towards a scatterbug. Then, you tap the open button, and there's an animation that shows what items you got. Finally, there is likely a long animation showing that your friendship level increased. After this, you can send a gift, which involves choosing a gift, optionally adding a sticker, and then tapping send and watching a short animation. Overall, without doing anything, this takes about 24 seconds, or about 8 minutes for 20 gift exchanges. If you tap anywhere on the screen when it shows you what items you got, you can skip viewing each item. With this improvement, the send and receive takes about 17 seconds, or about 5 and a half minutes for 20 gift exchanges. But there's an animation skip that we can do on both gift send and receive that brings us all the way down to 9 seconds, or about 3 minutes for 20 gift exchanges. Let's check it out. It turns out that for a moment after tapping open, we are able to tap where the X icon used to be, and this will cause the entire gift opening animation to skip. We can't do this too early or too late, but there is a reasonably large window of opportunity to do the skip. In this example, I was able to do the skip successfully about one third of a second after the X icon has disappeared. The same skip can be used when sending a gift to save even more time. Wait for the animation to start and then tap where the X icon used to be. In this example, I tapped about one quarter of a second after the X icon has disappeared. If you can't figure out the timing, then just spam taps where the X circle would be. This will work, but might result in inadvertent taps after the animation is skipped. If you keep practicing, over time you'll learn to time the skip precisely. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more from the excellent Pokédex. I'll see you next time.